may, but I do not. Noted. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Lock. It is my trust you must earn. Arbiter. You are a hunter, yes. A seeker of things. That's not the official job title, but it's close enough. And now you hunt other Spartans. I'm not so much hunting a Spartan as I'm hunting the Spartan. You seek. One, one, seven. I was not told the identity of your prey. That is why I'm sharing it with you now. We're talking about trust after all. May I ask you something? Your people used to call him Demon. Was that an insult or a compliment? An insult to be sure. But one with a modicum of respect. He was indeed my enemy. But in time, I named him ally, even friend. The events which forged this bond were complicated. We start off in the ruins of the first Halo. Covenant ship passes by, which actually has the guy who has been chasing us all the last game. You know, the guy who's been trying to kill us. Well, not three for three guilty spark. The Covenant guy who's been sending all those people after us. There was only one ship. One? Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. But I so ba pretty much, um, he's just describing the events of the first game here. You see where he goes and finds Halo, where the Pillar of Autumn was, how it was, and, you know, usual stuff. Naturally, since these guys um, believe that the Halo rings are something really great that can give him some kind of divine solidarity, they're kind of pissed. Because he failed, everyone's pissed at him. And there's also this brute guy. Remember him, he's important for later. Due to the Arbiter's El Bozo moment, the the leaders of the of the Covenant don't want him to be working on any major campaigns against any other humans. So they go take him away so they can go and do some, something weird to him. What things that are weird? We do not know yet. We will find out later. Now let's go check on a boy. So here we are in the Cairo station on the plating was about to fail. Where Master Chief is. He's getting some layer. cool new armor. Optics totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. So see, after a brief training montage, you know, um, Sergeant Johnson, you know, the black man from the last game, is here to go take us to a cool ceremony where we get to, we get rewarded for the events of the last game. Isn't that super cool? You done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson, so shut your chilly hole. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry. I'll hold his hand. Oh, Johnson, when are you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. <laughs> My ass? Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your A2 scope. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him an invitation. It is so classified that not even anyone in the Halo community, including me, knows how the hell he got off the ring. Earth. So, Chief is responsible for two things here. The survival of the Fall of Reach, and the first Halo, and, you know, the last game. Which is why everybody's cheering, and because also because Master Chief is so cool. Oh my god. You told me there wouldn't be any cameras. And you told me you were gonna wear something nice. Folks need heroes, Chief, to give them hope. So smile, would ya? Well, we still got something to smile about.
on the other side of the galaxy, this guy, you know, the Elite Man, he is actually on trial. Well he, well, he was on trial earlier. Now he's getting his punishment. Look at him. Surrounded by people who hate him. And calling him heretics. If they came to hear me beg, they will be disappointed. Are you sure? This is the covenant's form of torturing their victims. Well, at least in this case, their fallen comrades are fucked up. Gentlemen, we're lucky to have you back. Go ahead, Cortana. Another whisper, sir, near Io. We have probes en route. Uh, I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. You look nice. Thank you. Hey, you what? Nothing. Sergeant Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring and devotion. And somehow, we're getting to leave a ring that we nuked at the end of the last game. For a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps. There can be no greater heresy. Let him be an example for all who would break our covenant. He's pulling his car down! Commander Miranda Keyes, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. His bravery in the face of impossible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best. Back on the high charity, this man is about to get burned, his chest burned with the mark of a heretic, or heresy, whatever the fuck. Slip space ruptures directly off our battle cluster. Show me. Fifteen Covenant Capital ships holding position just outside the kill zone. This is Fleet Admiral Harper. We are engaging the enemy. Negative, Admiral. Form a defensive perimeter around the cluster. Commander, get to your ship. Link up with the fleet. Somehow, the Covenant have found Earth. And we have to stop them because, uh, as you know, we live on Earth right now and it's kind of not good for them to be here. And what they're going to do is they're going to do the same thing from the last game and try to break in and beat us up. But we're the fucking Master Chief, so that's not going to happen. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. So, finally for the part you guys have been waiting for, the gameplay. In this game, you can get something that has replaced the assault rifle, which is the battle rifle. You can also get an Asumg, and you can dual wield the, the Sumg. Just like how super cool the uh, the aesthetic is of this game, or the cool dual wielding, you can also play in the classic 2004 graphics if you wanted to just place the two squares on your controller if you're playing on Xbox. You can switch between Anniversary and the classic edition of the game. And it's swiftly perfect in every single way per perfect, you know, possible. It's just so great. After killing some Covenant butt cheek, we oh no, the, the Cairo station blew up. Covenant have cut it down one of the Earth's defenses, causing a roar of panic, and y you know you you, you kind of have to hurry up, you know, to save the you know, Earth. So you got to go do that. Uh oh, 
Hey, they're leaving the assets. So a little bit later, another, uh, another one fucking blows up. Cortana. I mean, that the Covenant really are serious about blowing up uh, Earth. Or at least finding something that's on it. And they sure as hell brought one here. Chief, find it. A little bit later, you get to go to space! Well, into space! The outside, well, elites try to kill you while they fly. They're very, they're very dumb for doing that. Two moments later. Sheafy finds the bomb, but of, because of course there is, there's some guards, so you gotta go beat him up. Safe and sound. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Cairo, this is an emberclad. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Excuse me, what? Permission granted. So instead of keeping the bomb, Master Chief decides to do his uh, his daily good deed for the day. And go give give uh, the Covenant back their bomb because since they they forgot it on the station, you know. So he waits for an opening, and then he gets to work. Gotta put the button and then we go leave it and then now we leave. For a brick, he flew pretty good. Alright, so the guys decided to land in Africa. Yes, this is actually Africa. This is New Mombasa. This is a very important city. So we go fight them out, you know, I'm gonna go kill them because they decided to invade, you know. Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier and he's calling for help. <laughs> we interrupt Halo 2 to bring you Fast and Furious. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! You heard the man, boys! It's time for some hazard change! This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That prophet is going to tell us why. You know, just smooth flying, you know, it's a great, and it walked off that thing. Well guys, that's it. You made it to the end. That's the end of the game. Master Chief dies, and that's the end of Halo as a whole. Well, I can go home now, right? No? That's that's not the end of the game? No, stupid. That's just how the cutscene ends. Stupid idiot. No, you're a stupid idiot. <laughs> Pelicans fly overhead. Oh, the Covenant, you know... They're, they're like, yeah, I gotta go, gotta go kill him. Gotta finish the job. <laughs> so these random ODST people, they're they're here in New Mombasa trying to help out, but uh, they kind of crashed and they gotta, you know, see if everybody's alright. Sarge, we better get moving. Agreed. We'll find better cover in those buildings. Butkus, you take point.
Piper. Third floor left. Here, let me give him my welcome to Earth gift basket. You are dead! <laughs> what an asshole. Using his Where sword, he? he's hunting down the OVSTs with his super cool camouflage. And he has plasma grenades, be careful. He's taken hostage, help him! Kill him! Shoot him! To the elite! Yay, let's go. Plasma pistols don't actually do that. You have to actually shoot them a couple of times for them to die. Original, ma'am. Barely. Our pilots didn't make it. Find a hole. Stay put. We'll come to you. Get off, Marines! Clear the crash you know, So after, go, go. you know, falling and, and crashing, Master Chief he has to do some Halo stuff, you know? So that way we can go and save Mombasa. later scarab is still trying to screw us over so you, you, you know we gotta figure out how to kill it Blew right through us 50 cal rockets didn't do a thing let's go a tank where's the rest of your platoon wait and we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. No, no, sir. Then listen up. When I joined the Corps, we didn't have any fancy schmancy tanks. We had sticks, two sticks and a rock for a whole platoon. And we had to share the rock. Buck up, boy. You're one very lucky Marine. What about that scab? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Jeep. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. And with that very interesting comment out of the way, we get to do some cool tank stuff. Well, so we can just, you know, blast through the bridge and get to Scarab. Later on, you know, we're still, there's still people trying to screw us, so we gotta blow them up. When I asked for reinforcements, I didn't think they'd send a spark. Ah, shoot. Their, their scarab is still there, and now it's about to kill us. And the tank man from Newgrounds is now dead. So we figure out we have to drop into the scarab to go blow it up. So we gotta go kill everybody on there. Badassery. 
aquí. But the profit and regret is still, you know, problems. So we gotta go key at them. Extract the teeth and return to an amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. All Vector 2 heavies for star side intercept. Ma'am! Flip space rupture off the target's bow. It's going to jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. <laughs> Without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. And then everyone fucking dies. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Their sto the story of New Mombasa is continued in Halo 3 ODST. I'll make a video on that one, but right now, let's just go with Halo 2. Back on High Charity. There is a bunch of Kigyar and Grunts that have been imprisoned for heresy or other crimes. So we'll do for the jails. The Hierarchs have something special in mind. So they bring the elite man right back to the hierarchs. I have brought the incompetent. You may leave, Tartarus. But I thought. And take your brutes with you. Release the prisoner. The council decided to have you hung by your entrails. And so, basically, the prophets. Give him a second chance to really prove to him that the, he can be useful still. So you want to know what they do? They try to make him an arbiter, Every a arbiter very special warrior. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the hunters, the grunt rebellion. Were it not for the arbiters, the covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy, one who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. And this man, if the this elite man decides to become an Arbiter, would be his first target. This heretic and those who follow him must be silenced. So they give him a choice. Put on the armor or die. What of the council? The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The council will have their corpse. So, with literally everything stripped from him, he walks towards the armor. What would you have your Arbiter do? Finally, I can stop calling him Elite, man, I can finally call him Arbiter! When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. So, in the in the Phantoms, this shipmaster gives the Arbiter some sh about his, you know, previous involvements and controversy he has around the thing. And he doesn't care about him. And he responds, That makes two of us. Warriors, prepare for combat! 
Hey, yeah, I know this is really annoying to do in the middle of the campaign, but I'd like to show you guys the multiplayer, or at least the cool thing you can do in this game's multiplayer. You can have colored weapons. Isn't this cool? Yep. You can have colored weapons. You can have some cool armor, more armor than the last game. It's super awesome and super cool. I tried to get it to work in Halo 2 Classic, but it didn't want to fucking work. Can you believe how frustrating that it? I got a rocket launch, Sherry, and I'm gonna see you now. Hey, yo, what the? <laughs> so, now that he's dead. I can tell you about my coolness of the rocket launcher. Look how colory it is. Ah, fuck, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. I'm coming for you, boy. You're not gonna get away from me. Get over here, boy. I'm gonna get stabbed with the sword I found. Get over here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Get over here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. That's what you get when he's trying to fight me. Look at this awesome sword I found! Isn't it super great? It's so cool, and you can do some cool swordy things with this. Isn't it amazing? Well, let me introduce you to the monitor boyo. He can help you do some cool forging. Just watch what you can do. So here in Forge, you can spawn in any gun that you want. You want to have a needler for some reason? There you go. Spawn it in. You can make whatever map you want. You can spawn in weapon nose. You can spawn in vehicles. Whatever vehicle you want. Want a bunch of tanks? Well, then just poop it in. And then, there we go. Just don't bring them up too high, or else that will happen. It's the ultimate creative mode experience with everything that you could ever need. If you want to make your own map, then go ahead. It's so cool and amazing and epic and super cool. Look, gadgets, you want explosives? There, you got it, my friend. If you want some switches for some reason, then you got it, my friend. You want some spawn points all over the place, then you can go do that. You can kill people anywhere, you can save people, you can do things for infection, you can do anything, capture the flag if you want, barricades, do if you want, it's freaking everywhere. Hey, what the hell is that? Ah! Well, as much as I would love to, I can't show you guys the multiplayer aspect, or like the full multiplayer experience of this game, since I actually need friends for that. And right now, as of recording this, I don't have any online. It's very sad. But yeah, this is pretty much it. At least for... Yeah. Look at how beautiful this scenery is. This map is one of the many maps that you can have. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, that's all we have to show you from Forge, which is the name of Rainbow, and also multiplayer. At least, that's all we have to show you at the end. Which is great, isn't it? Isn't it super great? Oi, don't go! Look away! So back when we were the campaign, if you were So we are the arm of the back when we left off. The Arbiter is on the guy's ship trying to not ship, like station, and he's gonna go and slice his throat. Right <clears throat> we gotta slice the guy's throat because he's spreading lies about the covenant. That's not good, and we gotta go kill him now. What is it? That stench. I've smelled it before. Damn it, somebody farted. Well, turns out this was a FLOOD RESEARCH FACILITY. You know, the ugly things in the last game. And that's not exactly good. Because, uh... 
Well, the flood. N nothing ever good comes out of it. I wondered who the prophets would send to silence me. An arbiter. I'm flattered. So this guy, you know, he's too much of a bitch to come and stand it up for himself. So he sends a hologram instead. So naturally, we don't we don't take that disrespect, and we go kill him, and we go you know not kill him, but we go find him down, find him hunt him down. This will save me from the storm, but you will be consumed. Piece of shit. Share the shield. Thinking Floodbait boxed himself in tight. We'll never break through this. Then we shall force him out. How? The cable. I'm going to cut it. And possibly kill everyone else on the station. See, because uh, that cable, which is connected to God knows what, is the thing keeping the thing from falling. So we gotta go cut these with the sword. The most cool way possible while fighting off the flood. Wee! So now that the station is in free fall, you gotta hurry your ass down into that into the station and when you find the heretic man he tries to run away like a little bitch and so we don't take that little slide again so we gotta go chase him except he doesn't like us chasing him so he starts to kill us luckily there's another banshee here so, we shoot at him. so Arby shoots at him gets it in the banshee and we can go I mean he can go kick his ass but that doesn't great go that great and he gets shotted and so he crashes Real bozo-y moment for him. <laughs> but it turns out that he is actually very protected for a man that is falling down a shaft well, you know, being a heretic. No, 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 come back. Damn, heretic. Arbiter, I would rather die by your hand than let the prophets lead me to slaughter. Who has taught you these lies? The Oracle. It's the thing from the last game. I am the monitor of installation 04. Which we nuked in the last game. the Oracle about Halo. How they would sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. What the fuck? Hey, hey, whoa, I'm supposed to ask him a question. What the hell? The elites are blind, Arbiter. But I will make them see. And uh, you think those are two plasma ba balls, but uh, they're not. There are actually two holograms! Oh my god! And this is the very first boss fight of the Halo series! This is super cool. Watch this super cool action. You have to guess which one of the holograms is actually the evil heretic man. And you just, after you find him, you bop him. Oh, never mind, you didn't bop him. Well, there you go, you bopped him now. You bopped him. You saved the day. After kicking his ass and killing him. I had no choice, Holy Oracle. This heretic imperiled the Great Journey. Oracle? Great Journey? Why do you vendors insist on using such inaccurate versions? It's the it's the brute man from earlier. He has come to get the, the, the ball. So he, for the prophets. And to get the arbiter. Oh my god, he's here. Alright, Master Chief time again. Do it and find out where we are. Sorry, 
All right, let's see here. Got the black man. He's getting everybody ready. The orbital drop shot. With the ODSTs and the Master Chief. Super cool. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? That's what everybody's mom said in 2004. That is another halo. <laughs> Say what? So this is what my father found. I thought Halo was some sort of super weapon. It is. It is. If activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information you've got on the first Halo. Schematic, topography, whatever. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. Yes, ma'am. Where's our target? The enemy ship has stopped above the ring, ma'am. We're going to pass right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the Prophet of Regret. Find out why he came to Earth. Why he came here. Chief, take first platoon. Hard drop. Secure landing zone. Sergeant, load up two flights of pelicans and follow them in. Aye, aye, ma'am. Until I can move and fight, I'm going to keep a low profile. Once you leave the ship, you're on your own. Best friends, oh my god. Over the target. Yeah, Master Chief five. is best friends with the Sergeant Johnson. I don't know if anybody caught, caught it already. Pew, pew, pew. Look at that awesomeness. We're dropping in the Delta Halo, boys. Oops, I forgot the rocket launcher. Any more noise? I guess so. Now that we're on Delta Halo, we have another mission. Stop the rings from being fired again by the Covenant. You know, we gotta kick some more butt cheeks. And then, yeah, blast them all to hell. All right, so we found the source of the message from Prophet Regret, it, but it's guarded by people with energy swords for some reason. The fuck is that Wait, song, man? It's ass. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. Not again. I shall light this holy ring. Release its cleansing flame and burn a path into the divine beyond! Pretty much. Commander, we've got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object. The Index. Something that Cortana has! But every ring has one, so we're... Yeah, we're, we're not exactly very safe. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Most likely, Johnson. Extract your men and gotta, you know... Yes, ma'am. Get to the library. Hopefully, it's not as bad as the first Halo. And here we go, I guess. Few moments later. So Cortana finds us a water elevator. Isn't it so cool? So we get in. We get the super cool water cutscene. Well, not really cutscene, but the little cool water place thingy. Isn't it amazing? We found Atlantis, guys! We found where Atlantis is. It's a secure is. transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's Which I highly doubt, meaning because uh, it's a, he's a prophet. He's supposed to have all the information he needs. But... I don't know, man. Can, can someone in the, who knows all the lore of Halo 2 tell me in the comments? So after kicking some ass down there, we get another bubble elevator, and we go out of the water. This is super cool. Super cool water episodes. It's Master Chief. The submarine marine. See what I get there? Going, you two. So far, so good. We're approaching the main temple now. Roger that. I'm as close to the library as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. So, after doing a cool, uh, 
you know, ship jump. We make it to the temple, and we gotta snipe these fools before they snipe us. Some cool badassery later, we walk around the dead corpses that we've just slaughtered. Well, at least the Master Chief slaughtered. Yeah, oh, fuck. The largest anyone's ever seen. Get inside the temple and kill Regret before it can stop us. Bring inside the temple. We gotta go kill every single guard there before they can stop us. And the fleet of right. Take it Falcon, out. come on! He did it! He killed the guy, and now we gotta get the hell out. He's gonna walk it. Oh, sh oh, no. He's gonna use his piss beam! Run! She falls into the water. <laughs> Lucas, can you not text me? Anyway, she falls into the water. He sinks ever so slowly. And then the tentacle grabs him. He pulls him away, taking him to an unknown location. Back on high charity, the um, arbiter. And the brutes, a bunch of brutes for some reason, are being taken to the hierarchs for a meeting. But since the elites failed in keeping the profit of regret safe, the elites are getting discharged from their duties as the normal protectors of the of the profits. This is unprecedented, unacceptable. A hierarch is dead, Commander. His murderer was within our grasp. If you had not withdrawn our phantoms... Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the brutes... Recommissioning the guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the elites can no longer guarantee our safety. He's talking about the first Halo game and what we just did to regret. To the Council. This is one of the very first times that you actually see consequences in a Halo game, which I don't I don't think a lot of games do. There's not a lot always a bunch of there's not always, you know, consequences. And this is one of the consequences. The elites have threatened to resign, to quit the High Council, because of this exchange of hats. All right, let me just speed run the rest of the cutscene since it's very easy. So basically, they're discussing on the next mission. And what the Halo Ring they can use to use with the Halo Ring. So, they assign the Arbiter after cutting open 343 Guilty Spark a couple times. They find out that they got to get the icon. So that way, we they can go and take over the world. And, and complete the Great Journey, whatever the hell that is. Once the shield is down, you will head straight to the library. I do not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human has killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? So, our cubby boys land, and we get into the mission. And we look around the surroundings. Pretty cool. Except we're not in the clear, because we're immediately attacked by whatever the fuck that thing is called. Oh, no, not a lot of life. <laughs> so after doing some Halo stuff, 
the Arbiter falls down the most dramatic set of tunnels I've ever seen. Oh my god, that was so dramatic and scary. Oh my god. Even more Halo stuff, let's go! Yeah, also the flutter here for some reason. So I thought a homies land, and, you know, Arbiter, he goes up to the Shipmaster Man, who actually respects him now, since, well, you know, he actually... Did, some, did him some good, killed the heretic man, and yeah, he's good with the boys now. Retrieve the icon and burn any flood that stand in our way. The parasite is not to be trifled with. Later on, we cut to Miranda and Sergeant Johnson, who have actually found the icon. Well, by icon, I mean index. One of those two. So all we gotta do, what Miranda has to do, is stretch yourself over and get the thing. No. Gotcha. You know, your father never eh. asked me for help. Is Johnson? He would have been dead if it wasn't for Johnson, the black man. Mackenzie Perez, how's our exit? You hear me, Marines? We got trouble. Somebody's hunting them. But who? Oh my god, it's the Arbiter! It's the guy we've been playing as! It's the Arbiter! He's finally sorry, Johnson! Oh my god! So after soloing Johnson and Keys, Keys just gets sapped by the hammer. Who's Hammer? It's the evil brute man from earlier is Hammer! Grace, and I, Tartarus, chieftain of the brutes, will send you to it. And the prophets learn of this, that they will take your head when they learn. <laughs> Fool, they ordered me to do it. Betrayal. Ah! Back with Chiefy, he's he's uh, getting uh, dragged around by the tentacle thing. He reveals itself. Is that? I, I am a monument to all your sins. Yeah. Then Arby's also getting taken in because he fell down a hole, and that is where the Grave Mind lives. So he got you know kidnapped. I'd rather not piss this thing off. Demon. <laughs> this one is mission and nerve. And has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and faith. And is the more deluded. Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. There is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. So yeah, this disgusting thing wants to help Master Chief and the, and the Arbiter stop the ring from firing, because the rings were actually made in the first place to kill that thing. So the Grave Mind, which is the thing name of that weird ass thing, is trying to explain to the Arbiter what the hell the rings actually do, and the truth about the prophets and the covenant. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets are making a big mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the sacred rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from turning, but first it must be found. You will search one likely spot. Which is High Charity. You will search another. Which is some random place in Delta Halo. And then they get teleported away using Flood Magic. No, no, really, I'm being serious. That's literally the explanation for being able to do that. Can stop so, Master Chief drops in through the Flood Portal, scares a grunt, Grabs the needler, 
and goes to kick some booty. Kill the demon! Since Master Chief is blowing through the thing, he the uh, you know the, the you know he just deposited Cortana into high charity so that she can go and fuck up their systems, which is super great. We can easily fly through the level and that oh not the level but you know what I mean the the whole system ship thing in easy glory. Hang on, I'm picking up two more transponders. Commander and Johnson, they're closing on Truth's position, Chief. They'll need your help. This way, Chief. It's really ugly. Meanwhile, Johnson is getting escorted with keys to the hierarchs. Well, not to the hierarchs. They're actually getting split up so they can go activate Halo. So this is implied that. He's actually yeeted the amber clad into high charity. But that's just my theory on that. I will not fail. And then the flood show up, right as he says that. Then Mercy is attacked and is strang strangled by the flood spore. But truth, he has other plans. He wants Mercy to die, so that he has all the control. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the Arbiter, he is he, uh, he's getting busy too, dropping into the flood portal. Now we're nowhere near any danger. He's in a field, so. He has to get to work, finding the brutes, and getting revenge. Most importantly, stopping the ranks from firing so no one dies. Oh boy. Alright, so after kicking some brute butt cheeks, a uh, wraith probably appears in front of this man. Look who it is! It's the shipmaster! By the rings, Arbiter. The counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on disloyal beasts! The prophets were fools to trust. Alright, so the Brutes, Tartarus, and Miranda have arrived at the thing. The place that they need to activate the index. Not the index, the rings. The ring cannot be fired. Or the ringer needs to hurry up before the ring. Master Chief lands and watches Truth and the Brutes and Johnson all leave. He was too late. 
Truth seemed to be going towards the middle ship. But he wants to go check up on Mercy, because he's just a nice guy, man. Earth is any sort of starting. And this time, none of you will be left behind. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brute has the Index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. It's not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. So, Master Chief has to leave his new girlfriend there. The rice is about to leave. A fucking pelican crashes. And you want to know what's there? A bunch of flood! <laughs> After traveling through the Doctor Who intro portal, Master Chief has to go and slash these people up. The Covenant was good at repurposing the truth. That's all that matters. Loki! And he's safe! Chief, when you get to Earth, good luck. After I'm through with truth. Now make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. Where else were you, are you going to get great advice like this? This is amazing advice. This is why you should play Halo 2. You only you get some super right. great advice. Uh, hey, Chiefy slips away with, with truth. Back to Earth. Back on Delta Halo. The Arbiter and the Shipmaster are discussing their new mission. Stopping the Brutes, stopping Tartarus, stopping the firing of the ring. From I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Tank time! So this random elite man, he likes us because he's on our side and he's elite. So he got some hunter buddies to help us out. A little while later, we find where the brutes that took Johnson are. Bomb them. So while we're bombing the brutes, Johnson, he hops into the scarab. Me and I sure as hell don't like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bed and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. Super cool banshee flying! Super cool banshee flying! Yes, you can actually fly a banshee properly in this game. Isn't it so cool that you can actually do that this time? Instead of, you know, dying on the first time you fly into these? Johnson shoots and beams the door, blowing into smithereens! So that way you can just, you know, fly in easily and go and, you know, find Taurus. An evil brute man. And we need to kill. Miranda does not want to push the ring button because she knows what's going to happen. And Tardis is getting pissed off at 343 in Industries, I mean Guilty Spark, because he is actually telling Brutes what's actually happening, and he thinks it's heresy. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do. Whoa, 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 ho, 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 Halo, calm down. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are yes. things about Halo. Even the Hierarchs do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, 
What is Halo's purpose? Collective Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And, those and the now that the truth has been let out of the box and into the air, the brutes have one choice. Stop firing the rings and go kill tr uh, Truth, or, you know, stick with Truth. As planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus. The prophets have betrayed and to get us. And again, the sway was side. Oh. Tartarus says, "No, fam, I'm not letting that slide." The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophets' escort. Tartarus, pissed off by the truth, says his allegiance covenant, and now he fires up the rings with Miranda's, uh, Miranda's consent. And now you have to kill him or be killed. Ah, for fuck. Be careful while fighting this man. One or two swings of his hammer will kill you in an instant. Carter's dead, Miranda flies in, well, and gets the index, and disables the firing sequence, which causes the ring to short circuit, and shoots a beam into the center of the ring, causing not just an explosion, but the disintegration of all the power it had, making a tiny explosion big enough to disable its, its power for the time being. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. The other rings. They're in standby mode. They have to go to some place called the Ark to go and activate all the rings. They find said Ark. The whole galaxy is screwed. Where, Oracle, is that? The evil ship that Truth got onto earlier to escape high charity has reached Earth, which is not good. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Beautiful story out of the way, but yeah, I got to show you the coolness of Halo 2 Classic with, you know, multiplayer moments that me and my friends have filmed. Most of these are from my friend, uh, My Hero Is Me. You should go check him out. And yeah, I'm gonna go show you all of them right now. Let's go!
yeah, that's that's it. That's all we have to show for uh, Halo 2 multiplayer and campaign. Better like and subscribe. This took me like a whole ass day to do. Blood particles fly through the air. But there's just the thing. Who's at the middle? Why is there the middle? How is there the fills the empty grave now that I am gone. But my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask and you will answer. All right. Shoot. Arbiter, we are nearing the target. Prepare for action. What do you call him, Spartan Lock? I don't understand the question. 117, the Master Chief. He is not your friend. Is he your foe? He's gone AWOL and the UNSC want him back. I'm going to bring him home. I admire his sense of duty, Spartan. But if he has left the fold, he has his reasons. I'm sure he does, Arbiter. And I intend to find out what they are.